What's good with y'all? It's Cam bringing the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new. And let's hop right into it, man. Angel timing as usual, dog. So check this out, bruh. This right here is going to be how you can be more attractive than most men, than most people in general, bruh. Understand this. Looks are always going to be the most important factor when it comes to attractiveness. You can't 100% change your looks, bruh. You can't go into your face and change your facial structure and none of that, bruh. But what you can do is the next best thing, which is build confidence. Understand this. As important as looks are, the biggest turnoff to a woman is a man with no confidence. You can look like Michael B. Jordan. If you lack confidence, if you come around her nervous, anxious, don't know how to talk to her, you're, you're, you're getting scared around her, she make you feel intimidated, that's an immediate turnoff to her. You got to understand that, bro. Confidence is important. Looks are important, but confidence is also important. Understand this, bro. Your confidence can make up for your lack of looks. In fact, it can push you past 90% of guys, bruh. Understand this. This is how much women love confidence. Because without confidence, how is she ever going to be submissive to you? How is she ever going to want you when you can't even want yourself? That's what confidence is. It's being assured in what your value is. It's understanding like, I got this in all areas, in all aspects. Why would she want to be with a dude that she has to constantly validate? Why would a woman want to be with a dude that has to be constantly lifted up because he's always down? And I understand people go through things, but why she got to keep validating you? Why she got to keep leading you? At that point, she might as well be, you know what I'm saying? Lesbian or bisexual, bro, because you will use a female. You know what I'm saying? Have some confidence about you. And the reason why confidence, or, or not even that, it's how you can build confidence, bro. That's the biggest, like, hurdle to why guys cannot become more attractive. And the way that you can build more uh, confidence in yourself is by executing. 90% of guys do not execute. Let me break down and explain what I'm talking about, bro. Everyone has dreams. Everyone has hopes. Everyone wants to do something, be somebody. Even if you wanna just be some average Joe working a nine to five job, that's still a want. That's still, I want to do this. I desire to do this. But the problem is that most people do not act on what they want to do. They, they Listen, I can sit here and tell you the different steps that you can take to start your own business. I can sit here and tell you the different steps that you can take to achieve your dreams and your goals. But the problem with most of y'all is that you'll hear this information and you won't do nothing about it. Why? Because it's hard and people don't understand that anything worth having in this life is going to be, it's going to be hard. You're going to have to go through some adversity, bro. You have to understand this, but most people don't want to do this. They want to sit on their couch and become millionaires. That's why you be looking up how to get rich quick. That's how you, that's why you want to get rich on TikTok because it's easy to do. It takes five seconds to make a TikTok, bro. But I hate to tell you this. You're not getting paid over there, bro. You're getting paid pennies on a dollar, my boy. You're getting paid pennies on a dollar because it's not worth anything. Anything worth having, anything worth doing is going to take some struggle. It's going to take some pain. It's going to take some sacrifice. People do not want to sacrifice. And that's why you watching this video right now can surpass 95% of other dudes by just executing on what it is you want to do. Because understand that execution and actually doing things is what builds confidence. You cannot have confidence without experience, bruh. You can't have confidence without experience. How are you gonna have confidence without experience? So how you gain experience? By taking action, bruh. And understand that confidence is all connected, bro. If you're confident in one area, you're more likely to be confident in another area, right? Like for example, I'm confident with, with, uh, uh, with this YouTube stuff. I come on here and I record in front of the camera all the time. That's something that a lot of y'all can't do. A lot of people can't do it. They don't have the confidence in themselves. They don't like hearing their own voice. But what this means is I now am more confident in other areas like public speaking, right? Because it connects. It all connects. I have confidence in this area. So I know, okay, it's no real reason for me to be afraid. There's no real reason for me to be scared to fail for people to look at me some type of way. And this boosts my confidence levels, bro. Women love confident guys, bro. Why do you think a man has to go and approach a woman first? Why do you think the most she gonna do is show you choosing signals? It's because she don't want to have to go up to you. She want to see, okay, I like him, but do he got the balls to come up to me? Is he confident? You know what I'm saying? They love that stuff. They eat it up. They eat it up, bro. And by, do, by, by, by doing things, by acting on what it is you want to do in life, by executing, 
you can gain more confidence and surpass 90% of dudes as far as attractiveness. Maybe not looks, but attractiveness. Understand that the two are not necessarily intertwined, bro. Looks and attractiveness are separate. Because yes, you can look really good, but if you a bum dude, on the, if you a bum laying on the couch and you just relying on your looks all day, yeah, you might get a couple of girls that's interested in you, but ultimately you ain't gonna get no grown woman. You ain't gonna get no woman that's actually high value. You ain't gonna get none of that. You have no access to that because you sitting on the couch eating Lay's chips, bro, eating hot Cheetos and, 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 and fries and canes, bro. Anyone that actually puts in the work and actually gets to the gets to the grindstone, you know what I'm saying? They putting in that work, they actually executing and, and, and doing it is doing what it is they need to do and building that confidence in themselves are immediately gonna be more attractive. They may not be better looking, but they're going to be more attractive to women. Understand this, bro, because they're showing that they can be financially stable. They're showing that they want to do something with their lives. Ambition is attractive to women. You have to understand these things, bro. You have to understand this. A lot of dudes don't get it because y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't see that women like the intangibles. Y'all think it's just all looks. It's all 100% looks. Again, that's important, but it ain't all 100% looks. There's other things that you can do, bro. And these other things that you can do are very very important. It's what keeps women around. It keeps them interested. It gets them intrigued, bro. It's how you can do these tactics. Like how can you be the the mysterious guy? How can you get her to chase you? It's the intangibles, bro right? Why would she just chase a dude with good looks? It's a bunch of dudes with good looks, but what's going to separate you from the pack is what you do on your own time. It's how you improve your own self, bro. It's how much confidence you got, how much swag you got. Understand this, bro. Presence is a very important thing too, bro. You ever walk into a room or you ever see somebody walk into a room and they just like take control of the, like, like the whole just mood just like shift, the whole vibe just change or whatever the case may be, bro. Understand that this comes from confidence, bro. This comes from confidence. When you can walk into a room and you can be present and in the moment, that takes confidence. You want to know why? Because people that don't have confidence, people that got anxiety or whatever the case may be, when you walk into a room, you don't want to be seen. You don't want to have the attention. You're trying to shy away from everybody and not in a good way. I mean, like you are afraid to be there. You got anxiety. You're afraid to talk to people, whatever the case may be. And this this, this is a weak presence to have. And when you have that weak presence, that's an immediate turnoff. It's an immediate turnoff because a woman don't want to do it with a weak presence. She want a guy that's not afraid to have attention on him. She want the guy that has the confidence to walk into a room and, and just like, you know what I'm saying? He can, he can, he can shift the whole mood. She wants the, 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 the big dog, bro, ultimately, bro. But she don't want the big dog that just talk a lot either. You know what I'm saying? If you walk into a room and you talking about all your accomplishments and all this other stuff, that's little dog energy, bro. That's real little dog energy. Understand that that's real, like, and it's real low vibrational and all that too, bro. Because how are you gonna be talking about all your kind of? Oh, look what I did! I did this! I did that! If you have to talk about something that you did all the time, bro, then I mean, chances are people ain't gonna respect that. Cause it's like, did you actually do it? You know what I'm saying? Why you keep talking about it? You know what I'm saying? Show don't tell. When you walk into a room, bro, show don't tell. Don't tell her that you got a successful business. Don't tell her that you're a very confident guy. Show her by the way that you act, your body language, stuff like that, bro. I understand that that type of stuff will naturally change too, as well. As as you continue to build confidence by doing learn by doing bro that's a very important thing learn by doing bro go out and do things to gain experience that's how you gain confidence ultimately bro you're not gonna gain confidence laying in your bedroom bro you're not even gonna gain confidence by just watching this video bro you have to get up and go do things go to the gym go to the gym actually and go lift you know what i'm saying go approach some women or something do something get some experience in whatever area you need confidence in i'm telling you and your presence will grow bro your presence will grow and that's a very important thing to have because your presence will ultimately determine how much people respect you without even uh you opening your mouth you know what i'm saying people judge you as soon as you walk into the door as soon as you walk into a room as soon as you walk in class as soon as you walk into the cubicle bro soon as you walk into that building people is looking at you like okay what, what's he like what's he like and another part about presence is the way that you dress too you have to be confident in the way that you dress you have to be confident in the way that you dress bro you know what i'm saying like and and, and confidence has a look bro and, and as far as clothes go if you well put together you know what i'm saying you can throw your own spin on it but if you well put together bro people are just automatically gonna assume okay yeah like I can trust this dude. Like, they're going to put you above other people that be wearing clothes. That's all over the place. You know what I'm saying? You walking into a building wearing sweats and, and Skechers with a, with a, with a, uh, uh, a, 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 a damn, uh, RVCA shirt or whatever it's called. Bro, people ain't going to respect you, dog. Nobody. Nobody. You walk into a building, you know what I'm saying? You got a cool little plain 
black shirt, you know what I'm saying? Some nice little jeans on, you know what I'm saying? Some clean white forces. Nothing crazy, something light. But people gonna respect you because you got yourself way more put together. This is immediately gonna increase your attractiveness level because people are gonna start to assume things. They're gonna judge you. They're gonna be, okay, this dude is probably pretty confident. This dude is probably pretty this. He's probably pretty that. You know what I'm saying? And women, they love this, bro. They love this, dog. Now understand this, bro. You probably asking yourself, well, why do women love confidence so much? Why, why do they love uh, ambition so much? Why do they love these intangibles? It's because these traits show that you can be a good husband, leader, and father in the future, bro. Because if you don't have confidence, how can you be any of these things? How can you, how can you ever expect to lead a woman? How can a woman submit to a man that does not have these qualities? That's not ambitious. That's not confident. She's not able to submit to that man. And so immediately when you're not able to do those things, it's like, oh, it's a turn off. Ah, it's a turn off because he's a weak man. It's about being a strong man. These are qualities of a strong man, bro. If you have these qualities, if you embody these qualities, I promise you, your stock is going to increase tenfold because this is what women want deep down on a biological level, on a biological scale, because they want to feel safe when they are with a man. When you are living in a household with a woman, how can you be the leader without being a strong man, bro? You got to be that. You have to be him. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is at a biological level. They love these things. That's why they're attracted to guys that get business done. The guys that are willing to put in the work, bro. And that's the thing about executing. That's the thing about actually doing things, bro. That's the thing about going out there and taking control, taking life by the nuts, bro. You have to not be afraid. You have to go out there and say, forget what people's going to say. Forget what people got got to say about me. Forget what, 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 what everyone's saying, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take the, low, the road less traveled. I'm going to do what I know I, I, I can do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody really stop you. That's what you got to really get, dog. And I know a lot of y'all probably even watch me at 11 minutes, bro. Listen, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. For real, it's not even about becoming more attractive. Being more confident and being on your ish and, 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 and getting to the bag and getting to getting just getting better in, 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 in life. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all that physically is going to make you more attractive. But it ain't even about that. It's not even about that, bro. You can do anything you want in life. Stop letting people tell you you can't do something, bro. Stop. I don't care if it's your mom, your dad, or you can't do this, or you can't do that. Bro, and, and stop with the self-limiting beliefs. A lot of y'all got self-limiting beliefs. It, your biggest op is your own brain. Your biggest op is your own self, your own mind, bro. Bro, defeat your ops, bro. Spin the block. Spin the block on your ops and start telling yourself positive things. I could do whatever it is I want I want to do in life. I could do whatever it is, bro. Stop telling people or stop letting people tell you and stop letting yourself tell you that you can't do something, bro. It's making you less attractive. It's making you less attractive, my dog. Because when you fill in your brain with negative thoughts, guess how you carry yourself? Guess guess what your body language is like when you out? Mm -hmm. Guess what your demeanor is like Guess what you start talking about Guess what your personality becomes Guess how much confidence you start losing And guess how many women gonna lead your life Start telling yourself positive things Can't nobody tell you nothing different bro Alright so I love y'all I hope y'all really understand this video bro I love y'all I'm out of here man peace